Hello and welcome, number hunter 91 here. And I originally uploaded my live reaction video. Unfortunately, it had no audio, so I have taken that one down. Um, so, unfortunately, because it is now spoiled for me, I won't be doing a live reaction again. Um, but I am going to turn this into a bit of a discussion video. So, I'm going to go over the list again, just for those that didn't quite catch anything in the last one and then we'll talk about some of the upcoming events that we've got that will include this list that will be used in this list as well as what it means to meta some of the meta decks or what other decks we might see get played and so on so we'll jump straight into it it was updated earlier on today the 9th of october i'm using the uk site because it's slightly easier for me to read and it will be in effect from 14th of October 2019, which is Monday. So the next update will be no sooner than January the 13th. Apologies for my squeaky chair. Um, of 2020, it's, um, it's really weird thinking we're only a few months away from 2020 already. Um, so we'll go through the list first, then we'll go through what decks and that are playable and whatnot and go from there along with the upcoming events so moving on there was no normal um normal effect monsters hit on the ban list no fusions we did have two links which were guard dragon argapane and nightmare mermaid nightmare argapane Yes, I can understand why they hit it due to pendulums making use of it to get vortex out quicker. Odd eyes dragon vortex, sorry, odd eyes vortex dragon to give it its proper name um, out a little bit quicker. And obviously, it did have some plays within the various other dragon link decks. Nightmare Mermaid is a hit towards Orcust, which have topped the last three premier events over in the US. Um, so it's not too surprising that that's been hit. Loads of people all over the place were asking for this to be hit on the list, which Konami have listened and actually banned it. And it's banned in the OCG as well, so it made sense. That w They were the only two forbidden cards put onto the list. There was at least there was one that was taken off, which we'll come to in a little bit. Limited, again, just the one, which was Sky Striker Mecha Widow Anchor, which yes, is a little bit of a hit to Sky Strikers. Personally, they're still playable. Person, if you want to really hurts Sky Strikers you need to hit the engage that's my personal fault hit the engage hit the multi roll again knock that down to zero put multi engage uh, one to two um, with multi roll being banned that in my personal opinion would slow that deck down enough for it to not it will still pl be played but it obviously won't do quite as well as what it currently is um, on to the semi limits we had dark arm dragon going to two which is quite nice for those that remember the days of that being played um, I personally didn't play during that time um, but we might see a few more of those decks coming around I believe that was dragon rule for part of Dragon Ruler format or around about that era um, and then quite a substantial now unlimited list um, so Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End which is the original f effect monster not the pendulum uh, Destiny Hero Malicious going back to free so I'm expecting to see a few more warrior variant decks creeping out the woodwork now um, similar to what um, Dark Roll, the Dark Warrior deck did, um, but obviously with a few little tweaks due to things like 
Danger Nessie, Jack Lope, Super Narco, all being semi limited, and Ron Gomniad being banned. Um, you've got A for the Heavenly Monarch. Didn't actually see that one coming, if I'm perfectly honest with you. But again, can see a few more monarchs creeping out and about. Elemental Hero Stratos going to free. Okay. Could be potentially problematic. Um, but it's nice to see heroes getting the support that they've been after for a while. Insector Dragonfly. Personally, I've no experience with that, but I know people do like the fact that that's come back to free. Shrit Strategist of the Necros and El Shadol Construct both coming back to free. You're going to see more of those floating around now. El Shadol Construct going to free makes Shadol's more playable. Shrit going to free makes Necros a little bit more playable. Uh, Royal Tribute, yeah, so so. To be honest, never really used fine let it come back at free the big one and this is the only one that's actually come off of the forbidden part of the list which is super rejuvenation which is the card for dragon type monsters uh, just load that up in a new tab so that going to free is quite big for dragon de based mon decks like blue eyes white dragon decks um, that's the main one I can think of they've hit the Argapane they've given you Super Rejuve personally I'd have the Argapane over the Super, Super Rejuve but I can see why they've done it so Super Rejuvenation's effect for those that don't know it or remember it is during the end phase of the turn this card was activated Draw a number of cards equal to the combined number of dragon type monsters you discarded or tributed from your hand or your side of the field this turn. So if you discard and tribute off 12 monsters, in the end phase you're drawing 12 cards. Provide an order, 12 of those with dragon types obviously. That's how big this card was, could get, and also one of the reasons it got banned because it was so abusable there are so many dragons out there now so you've got Soyuja, you've got the Boral drag dragons in the extra deck you've got various other dragons, you've got LP um, Pisty, the two other guard dragons, you've got various dragons in the main decks it is still usable it's last printing was Legendary Collection for Joey's World. Uh, before that was Legacy of Darkness and Dark Beginning 2, with it being a super rare in the Legendary Collection. So it's only had three printings within, its li within the game's lifetime, um, which means that I can see the price going up on this fairly quickly, um, if I'm perfectly honest. I love the fact that this still hasn't updated, but at the same time that is because it doesn't go into effect till Monday. Hopefully on Monday this bit here will change from forbidden to unlimited. So what does this mean for the meta decks? So out of three main meta decks you have Orcast, Sky Strikers and Thunder Dragons. Obviously you have all their variants as well. but. I'm just going to concentrate mainly on them three. So Orcust are still playable, but they're not going to be as splashable as they once were without the Mermaid. Um, pure Orcust will quite happily still do their thing. Um, it has thankfully cut down on the fact that any two monsters on the board was the Orcust combo. It has now stopped that. Um, but they are still playable, which personally, I can't say that I like it. Um, however, it has curbed the deck a little bit. Sky Strikers, personally, still playable. Engage is still at free. Multi roll still there. Hornet Drone still there. Okay, Widow Anchor's gone to one, so they're not going to be as formidable but they are definitely still playable so it is definitely one to watch out for thunder dragons are still full power no colossus colossus hit no titan hit 
Um, so they are very, very much now going to be personally, in my opinion, at the front of the pack with regards to the meta. So at the upcoming events that we'll be speaking about in a little while, I expect to see Thunder Dragons now taking more of the top spots um, because they are what personally the most powerful deck in the meta now. Um, as I said, Shadows and Necros will see some more play with two of their main monsters coming back. Uh, Blue Eyes, I can see getting played a little bit more with Super Rejuvenation. Um, and they're the main ones off the, really off the top of my head. I'm quite thankful they haven't hit any more of the dangers, personally, um, as they form part of the deck that I'll be taking to YCS London in a few weeks time. Uh, speaking of which, we upcoming events within the UK and Europe, we have YCS London on the 26th and 27th of October, and YCS Milan on the 30th of November, 1st of December weekend. Um, so they're the main two premier events that I will be keeping an eye on as they're closer to me, so to speak, um, being UK based. It, within the USA, you have the UDS Invitational in Panama on the 19th and 20th of this month, which will be the first premier event to use this new list that I'm aware of. Then cover the weekend after YCS London, we then have the Team YCS in Peru on the 2nd and 3rd of November and then we have YCS Pasadena on the 23rd and 24th of November so there's five premier events that's not including any regionals not including any nationals which are usually up just after the new year so in theory the, region, the nationals will come after the next list date of the 13th of January um, so it will be good to see how the meta is going to shape up. Personally, I think it's going to be Thunder Dragons slash Orcust battling for first and second spot. I'm not going to lie. Sky Strikers aren't going to be too far behind them in third, personally. And they're the ones to really watch out for because, yes, they've been hit. But no, they've not quite been hit well enough, apart from Thunder Dragons, which just got left untouched. Konami, what are you doing? Um... Although saying that Thunder Dragons don't see as much of the tops haven't seen as much of the top spots as they could have done due to Orcus being so splashable. Um, let us know what your thoughts and feelings are down in the, the comment section below. I'll link to this and the American version of the Forbidden Limited list in the description as well. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much.